The market is full of car cameras or dash cams, but it's not that easy to choose the right one if you don't want to spend a hundred for it. Xiaomi dash cam is a great camera that costs just around 70 bucks and I will leave a product link down below the video if you want to check it out. This is Linus, learn more in the full review. Just before we start, I wanted to give a shout out to Andrew from Car Cam Central. His channel will be linked down below. He makes some great dash cam reviews and his Xiaomi or Xiaoyi dash cam review is coming out very soon. In fact, I followed his tutorial video how to flash English firmware to my camera. What you are getting in the packaging include a compact suction cup, a micro USB cable and dual USB car charger. When it comes to the design, we are looking at quite a compact device. The build quality is great, although the camera uses mainly plastic in its construction. We have a micro SD card slot which can read cards up to 64 gigs, although some users say it works fine with 128 gig cards. We have the micro USB port for charging. Keep in mind that this dash cam is designed to work with a power source. It has a built in battery, but it can work only for 15 minutes. I really wish it had a larger battery so I can use this device as an action camera too. It's worth mentioning that the camera starts recording as soon as you plug the power cord. One of the key features is 2.7 inches display which works as a viewfinder. Also we have physical control buttons to help you navigate through menus. A camera has a G sensor or a shock sensor. If you hit it, for example, if you are in a car accident, a red indicator shows that the camera saves a separate file of 20 seconds, 10 seconds before and 10 seconds after the G sensor was activated. You can also record this separate file by clicking a red record button. Other buttons are used for recording a video or pausing it, playing back the videos you shot and last but not least we have a power button which also doubles as a settings button. Speaking of the UI, it is pretty much straightforward. You can adjust the resolution, adjust the G sensor sensitivity and so on. Some notable features include ADS system which is supposed to help you measure the distance between your car and other cars but I didn't really use this feature. Another feature worth mentioning is the built-in Wi-Fi which allows you to connect the camera with your phone using the proprietary app. Within the app, you can see the pictures and videos from the camera and download them to the phone, use your phone as a viewfinder, adjust various settings of the dash cam and so on. Let's jump into the video quality and I can tell you that it is fantastic for the camera this cheap. The dash cam has 165 degrees wide angle lens with f1.8 aperture to assure a good low light image quality. You can shoot videos at the maximum resolution of 1296p which is way above full HD at 30 frames per second. Of course you can switch to 60 frames per second but you will lose a little bit of detail. I tested the camera in various lighting conditions and I am pleased with the image quality. Sure, the Yi camera cannot challenge the more expensive rivals but I really doubt that you can find anything better at the price of $70 US. Keep in mind that the camera records only 3 minutes clips and I will leave download links to the original files in the video description. The 3 minute limitation is kind of a shortcoming but I guess it makes sense since the camera automatically overwrites the oldest clips with the new ones once the memory card is full. All right, so I'm currently shooting at the maximum resolution of the Xiaomi dash cam and this is the handheld footage. The sound recording quality is not really impressive I would say. So there we have it, the Xiaomi Yi dash cam. I have to tell you that it is very hard to beat it for the price. The design is great and the UI is pretty much self-explanatory. Also, the camera has some extra features like Wi-Fi and good image quality makes this device a great budget dash cam. Sure, it would have been nice to have a larger embedded battery, I didn't like the limitation of 3 minutes per clip and the camera is not the most discreet gadget in the world. Other than that, the Xiaomi Yi dash cam is one of the best products in this price range and I can definitely recommend it. 
It was Linus, thanks for watching and as always, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, check out some other videos and follow TechLineHD on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. See you in the next video soon.